Hey guys, so what follows is a 10 minute explainer uh, with myself and Ryan from Lumini on Lumini's small form factor grazing options. Uh, Ryan takes us through the legacy product as well as the newer products that have come about since the merger with Optic Arts. So that includes the Kendo M Graze, the Kendo M with a Graze lens, and the FOT uh, Focus Optic technology that came in from the Optic Arts merger. So it's a quick uh, 10 minutes. It kind of walks through the product in general. And then Ryan does these great in-person mock-ups in his apartment that sort of show what these three fixtures do uh, and some of the different performance form factors. As always, samples are very easy to come by from Lumini. So I hope this is helpful. And um, let me know if you have questions. There you go. All right, so what we want to talk about here today are some of our complete fixtures, uh, mainly in the realm of grazing. Um, now that we have both Lumini and Optic Arts kind of under the same umbrella, we want to talk about all the different options that we have kind of on the grazing front. Um, first, starting with the Kendo M Graze, which is really our legacy product, um, you know, 11 degree type optic, um, standard fixed brackets, or as well as some adjustables, interior or IP68 rated. Um, and note here is, you know, we've been asked to kind of make some improvements to this one um, to kind of match up to our new Kendo M with grays um, and kind of the Kendo S accessories, Kendo M accessories of the louvers and glare shields. Um, so very soon we're, we're working on a new design of the, the Kendo M grays, keeping that 11 degree tight optic, um, but going to be adding some new features to that soon. Uh, moving over to the Kendo M with Gray's lens. Um, so, you know, a couple years ago, I think it's about two now, um, we actually went through and we redesigned all of our key profiles, the Kendo S's, the Kendo M's, all of that. Um, what we did is we brought all that manufacturing back, back here to the U.S. Um, and in doing so, it did a couple things for us. One, by owning that whole process, we're able to come up with new accessories, uh, such as the louvers and the glare shields, new mounting brackets. Um, but it also helped protect us against the tariffs, um, which obviously are a real thing. Um, so having that um, supply chain here locally, um, it's also easier for us to get material quick, shiply, ship, quick, shiply, <laughs> quick, ship, ship. quickly. Yeah, we're going to edit that nice. one. Ship quickly, um, you know, to our facility so that when we need to, you know, get an order out, we can do that quickly. Um, so the, the difference here between the Kendo M Grays and the Kendo M with Grays Lens um, is really your optic and your height. Um, so the, you're now looking at a 13 degree, it's more of a Fresnel type lens, so it's much flatter um, and able to be used with that Kendo uh, louver and glare shield. Um, we have some new mounting brackets that we'll, we'll show you here in a few seconds. Um, and also again, IP68 um, or interior rated versions. Now, Looking at the optic art side of, of the company, um, we have the FOT or focus, focus optic technology. Um, and here, um, this is really exciting technology for us. We're using a silicone refractive and reflective optic that sits over top each of the LEDs. Um, and this is an IP67 fixture. Um, so it can be used indoors or outdoors. Um, at nine watts, we're pumping over 700 lumens per foot. Um, so compared to the Kendo series, um, kind of with the legacy uh, LL series strips, um, you know, you're, you're significantly higher from a grazing standpoint. Um, with those optics, we're able to achieve three different distributions, a narrow and asymmetric, as well as an oval grazing, uh, which is really exciting, um, especially on the asymmetric side, because we haven't had that in the future in the past. With Lumini, um, we're looking at that more actually heading here into the future. Um, multiple color temperatures, um, you know, we do have options for channels. Um, so for the grazing, we have a tall and a short. Um, and then for the asymmetric, it's just a short that's available. So we don't get any crazy kind of cutoff from that taller channel. I'm looking at louvers and uh, other accessories in the future. Um, but at the moment, it's just the, the standard fixture. Um, you'll kind of see in that upper right image how the product is actually kind of coiled up. Um, it is flexible um, in that direction. So if you were kind of going over archways or anything like that, um, you can do that slight bend. Um, from an output again standpoint, you know, probably easily 10, 15, 20 foot throw uh, compared to the Kendo M. 
uh, series where you're probably eight to 10 feet um, and likely kind of fading out either top or bottom, depending on how you're grazing that wall. Here is again, the different grazers that we offer. So side by side, we have the Kendo M graze and then the Kendo M with graze lens. So when you kind of see them up next to each other, uh, the kind of the legacy product, you kind of have that rounded lens. Um, and then on the newer version, it's kind of that more flat Fresnel type. When we light these up, and for reference, this is a 13 by 19 inch sheet of paper. So when we power this up, you're gonna see that the Kendo M graze, it's a nice tight 11 degree beam. You, know, you do get a little bit of field angle um, and not yet able to be used with the louver accessories, but that will be coming relatively soon. It's in the works, um, but, you know, really soft grazing lights, um, great for textured surfaces. I'll show you a side-by-side -side, uh, here on some brick wall shortly. Um, now comparing that to the Kendo M with grays, we now move into a 13 degree beam. So still really tight. A um, little bit of field angle on it, but now we have the new accessories in the form of your louvers as well as your glare shield. Uh, coming from theater, I call this more of a snoot, um, so it really helps kind of that, that front view looking at it. Um, and then if you, let's say you have a pocket um, and you're grazing and you want to, you might see into that pocket, putting that louver on really helps soften that view but you still get that light punching downward. Um, available in the black, white, as well as silver finish um, in both the louver and glare shield. And when we put the louver on, Ryan, we don't get any lateral, sh like if you put that against the paper lengthwise, we don't get any, any kind of shadowing, right? Any kind of, yeah, that's really it, nice. It's, it's pretty clean. Yeah, it's um, really if nice. If you get right up against it, you get a little bit, but typically with grazing, I'm finding, you know, somewhere between two to four inches off that wall surface, depending yeah. on what that texture is. Um, yeah. The other thing to note is because you are increasing the height, um, you do start a little bit further down your wall. Right, you gotta as far as, So you gotta, you gotta account for that in your detail versus if I take this off, your light really starts right at the top. Right. Now, something else to know is the kind of redesign of all of our brackets. So, we have our fixed flat, and now these are stainless steel, so no corrosion in salt, air, or outdoor environments. They snap on easily, and we've now included this little kind of tab, so it's a little bit easier uh, to install and uninstall. We then came up with a 45 bracket. So let's just say you have a cove or a pocket that you wanna put this in, you wanna angle it out of. We still have that 45 channel, um, but now you can just do it with a mounting clip. So you save a couple bucks per foot. It's a little bit smaller um, and a little bit easier. And you can have the same spec and just kind of change what that mounting bracket is. Kind of talking back to, you know, modifications and, and really being able to come up with, with quick solutions. Um, I recently had a specifier who needed a five degree mounting bracket. So we actually 3D printed we were looking at CNCing, but the 3D print was actually a lot stronger. So we have it now this little five degree wedge. So if for some instance you needed to come up with a different angle, you know, that's easy for us to come up with. And then the last bracket that we redesigned was our adjustable hinge. Um, so here it's more low profile uh, compared to our previous, which was probably over an inch tall, which was much bigger than the fixture. Um, so now this one, you have two set screws to be able to lock that in place. So it works really great for grazing. So you're able to kind of lock in that fine adjustment um, on that, that fixture. Nice. Then moving to FOT. So here we have the focus optic technology. Here it's actually inside of the channel uh, with a clear lens. Um, what you're going to see is the narrow, which is going to be a 15 by 15 optic. Again, really tight color, very consistent across the board. Um, and with the FOT, you have the option uh, if you wanna feed out the, the side or the end. So if you need to do long continuous runs, uh, we can do a side feed so you can then butt fixtures end to end 
and, and continue that kind of same spacing across. Got it. I wanna, what I wanna so what we up. have here is on the right, the FOT, and then on the left, we have the Kendo M with Graves lens and a black louver. Um, as I step back, you will see um, my lovely, lovely anglerfish from the ceiling, but also behind it, a bright pool of light. So we have about nine foot ceilings here in my apartment. Um, and the fixture is about four foot six off the floor, um, but it is punching a lot um, easily. Again, over 10 feet, 15, 20 foot. Um, on the left where you have the Kendo M with grays and the louver, um, the louver certainly helps kind of soften the direct view. I will say looking at the FOT, it's not as harsh as it shows on camera, um, but from both you are getting really nice texture called out um, onto that brick surface. And Ryan, you're, since you're there in person, um, it seems the FOT is hotter on the wall right at the, you know, right, like the, the Kendo seems like it's doing, like the amount of light output at the fixture and up the wall seem a little closer, whereas the FOT seems a little hotter on the wall. Obviously, it's punching more light. Um, mm -hmm. is, that, is that true in person? That's how it reads on camera. Slightly. So it is a little bit hotter towards maybe the first kind of two rows of bricks. Yeah. Um, so it's probably six inches or so, um, but it is really consistent up the rest of the wall. So yeah. say, yes, it is slightly, slightly hotter at the base, um, but it does kind of tighten up nice. as you kind of keep going up. That's great. If this video was helpful, uh, click the subscribe button, click the next video on here. YouTube says it's the best one for you. Um, we're trying to put out as much content as we can with me and the partner factory. So any of this that's useful, subscribing is a big help. So thanks very much. Let me know.